What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the channel. I'm Christopher Lee. This is Christopher Lee Shreds. Today we're talking about my I Ibanez. Uh, what is this? It is a uh, AW100CE. No one knows with these names. No one knows. But one thing we can say is that it is... Hold on, let me switch the mic. Oh, it doesn't need it. Perfect. Doesn't need it. Please? Do I know what I'm doing? I should probably edit this. Ah! This is not professional. I am a professional. I am professional. No, I'm melting. Oh, I'm melting. I am melting. Okay, so. Let's try that again, YouTube. I'm Christopher Lee. This is Christopher Lee Shreds. Today we're talking about my Ibanez Artwood 100 CE. It is a rosewood board with a Sitka spruce top, Sitka, um, uh, mahogany sides, so it's mahogany, it does have the electronics, but oh boy, oh boy. This guitar I got as a graduation gift in 1999/2000. And um, you know, this guitar at the time was an amazing gift. Amazing gift. It um, pretty much was not my first acoustic, but my first real acoustic. You know how, how you get these uh, beginner acoustics where they don't hold their tune, they don't sound very great, they hurt your fingers. I mean, most acoustics hurt your fingers. You gotta to play acoustic, you must love pain. So I hope you love pain, because this is what happens. Um, I've been playing all day acoustic, uh, plotting and planning this video. This guitar, I mean, I love it. I'm going to eventually upgrade my acoustic world, because this guitar has been with me since 1999-2000. And it was, you know, it's the model number in here says 98. So, but it's got some dings, it's got love. You know, um, there's a real good smash, right? Oh, where did it go? See, it's hard enough to find, so it's not that good, is it? If you can't even find it, is it? Oh, there it is. I can feel it with my finger. There's a good crack. I wouldn't even call it a smash. It hit something good, and it's cracked. The wood is cracked. Um, it's got, you know, I guess one would call it buckle rash right here. Um, you know, and it's... It really is just played and worn, but man, my fingers know it. It's one of those things where your fingers know it, so you love it. So, just one of those guitars that's got so much mojo. I swear, every time I play this guitar, every time I pick it up, there's there's, there's something that I write that I'm like, oh, that would be good. And it's not.
So if you don't have an acoustic, and you're probably thinking, oh, well, you know, I got to go Taylor. I got to go Martin. I got to go all these other brands that are known for acoustics. You know, you might not realize that Ibanez has been making very good quality acoustics. Um, this, again, came out in 1998, retailed for $470. Um, I think we may have got it uh, for special. Uh, on a special, I got it through Guitar Center. My mom I was there when, my, when I picked it with my mom. Excuse me, with my mom. Uh, and, um, you know, if you just... Inflation calculator, 400 and... You know, basically $500 is now 940-something dollars. So this, after tax, is a $1,000 guitar. And it plays really well. I mean, it's the only acoustic I've ever known, I feel like. And I haven't done much to it. I know at one point I lost the bridge, the original bridge that was here. So this has been replaced um, with Lord knows what I found on Amazon. Um, it sounds great plugged in, but for the purpose of this demo, we are unplugged. Because you know nothing really calls for chords more than acoustic. You know, you have your your basic chords that you could strum along to. You know, but you know once you get more acoustical, if you will, you're going to want to start using your fingers. fact that intro that you just saw I recorded an alternate version a better <laughs> uh, test run take that I think the solo came out better so you know I'll record that separately for fun uh, we'll upload it later just for fun so you can see it but um, you know the one that I did the video with eh, it turned out okay um, but this guitar sounds great it's got great quality woods you know spruce mahogany rosewood it's all the combinations for a very good guitar, but you know there's cracks in it. There's cracks here, up top. I can feel. I can see and feel these now. There's cracks up here. There's cracks down here. You know, one piece. It's got the the binding right here. It's got the um, you know this inlay, which is nice. Um, I said it's got pearl inlays, which those those look great. Not plastic pearl. Um, it does have die cast tuners. So that's, you know, blah. Who makes these tuners? Oh, uh, you know what? These aren't bad at all. These are not die cast. These are the Grover ones. You know, so I don't even know what I'm looking at. They do hold their tune well. Like I said, I said they... they... I have tuned about four hours ago. <laughs> If you're, uh... So, so yeah, apparently Grover Tuners, um, as far as I'm aware, this is the, you know, mahogany sides Sitka spruce top so you know if you look up uh, Sitka spruce tops you know that's going to be like the mainstay for like Taylor um, a lot of your high end instruments so this has the ingredients for a high end guitar absolutely high end guitar Very great 
great sounding guitar. Um, you know, I would highly recommend that if you're in the market for an uh, <laughs> for an acoustic in general, uh, look for Ibanez. Check out Ibanez. Um, for the price that you could spend on a, you know, mid-tier Taylor or Martin, you can probably get an Ibanez that's really tricked out. That's got all kinds of extras and goodies thrown in there because that's just what Ibanez does. And they probably are a very competitive price point. Um, in the future, there is an Ibanez model, uh, the finger style, finger edition. There's a finger edition or finger style, finger style. Um, that guitar has checks all the boxes for me. Um, I think it's another Artwood. And, um, man, that guitar has everything that I need. It is made in China. This one's made in Korea. And hard to find an acoustic from Japan. I'll do, I'll do some more digging on that. Um, but for the most part, this guitar, made in Korea. Ibanez. And it is, uh... It is really, really playable. Really, really sounds great. You know, and it's got the cutaway up here, so it's a it's a dreadnought shape, but you know, with the cutaway. You can get way up there in the upper register if you're that good. Hard to get up there. Or hard to be good up there, rather. Easy access, but, you know, it's hard to, it's always hard to play these up in registers. You know? If you happen to see one on reverb, I've seen them out there. Buy it! Buy it because they are quality and um, they're not very rare. And people are selling them for dirt cheap because because people don't think Ibanez make good acoustics. Um, you know, but they do make great acoustics. And as long as you, you know, do appropriate string lines and you don't go crazy on your string lines and you use decent strings and you take care of it. And, you know, you regularly wipe down the board. And I usually do. Um, I wiped down the whole guitar over, just right now I haven't, but I just wanted to get this out there, but, you know, it doesn't affect the way it sounds. These strings are pretty new, it's just been sitting in the case for a while with new strings. So, they sound great, it plays great, and, uh, I would say check them out. And then again, that is the Ibanez Artwood AW100CE. What a mouthful. <laughs> but, you know, Ibanez Acoustics in general. Check them out. Made in Korea. What a great guitar. Thanks for watching. See ya.